a very happy Christmas day to you all. Um, Chris here with a short pen and paper quiz. 20 questions, nothing too hard, just to get your brain going a little bit on Christmas day. Have you got your after eights at the ready? Have you got your book spheres or whatever you're drinking? Get yourselves comfy. And a reminder, if you're not a member, you can join in with our New Year's Eve Zoom quiz, uh, £3 per team. Uh, you can email chriscbenson at hotmail.co.uk to register. Smart dress code, it's going to be fantastic. Starts at 10 o'clock and that's on New Year's Eve next week. So make sure you join us for that and spread the word. Of course, it's been a bit of a funny year. Not that I'm, not that I'm the queen and doing a full speech, but it has been a funny year. And things I've missed even at Christmas, like going to the Chris Dingle service on Christmas Eve. Love doing that normally. And going to church on Christmas morning. Um... Miss going out for drinks with friends, um, you know, like around Bradford or wherever and catching up with people before Christmas. Going to the football and having a, a warm bovril and the football's just always got a great atmosphere before Christmas. Being able to go to grottos and uh, and Christmas fairs with Rachel and the kids and going out for meals, it, it has been different. And all we can hope is that next year we have a step back to what it was like. That's all we can hope. I kind of hope that some of the gigs come back that I did. I uh, kind of built up 11 years worth of work and I kind of hope some of them come back. Whether or not they will, maybe a bit, bit maybe I'll have to start from scratch doing something else. I don't know. But that's another chapter. And uh, one thing I do want to do next year, just not for selling, but just for my own kind of project, is write um, my memoirs. I finally get around to finishing my autobiography because I'm 40 next year and I've got loads of notes jotted on the computer. But I've never, it's like putting them in the right order and things like that. So I don't want to sell it. I just want to get it written down and kind of complete it and finish it. So that's what I want to do next year. And a little bit step by step, oh, that's what I'm aiming for. But anyway, pens at the ready. 20 questions for you then, all Christmas related. And don't forget to send your scores in to chriscbenson at hotmail.co.uk. Please do. And let me know what you're drinking, what your snacks are, and just to say hello from, uh, hear from you on Christmas Day. And whenever you play it over the festive season will be absolutely fantastic. Now, question number one. It's a multiple choice, the first one. According to the poem, The Night Before Christmas, how many reindeer did Santa have to pull on his sleigh? Was it A, 8, B, 9, or C, 10? So according to the poem, The Night Before Christmas, how many reindeer did Santa have to pull on his sleigh? Was it 8, 9, or 10? That's your first question. Okay, so that's number one. 20 questions, remember. Um, number two. What is traditionally hidden inside a Christmas pudding? What is traditionally hidden? hidden inside a Christmas pudding. If you're after some good Christmas entertainment to watch, by the way, uh, Britbox have just added for Christmas the 1980 Christmas special of Wurzel Gummidge that guest stars the late Barbara Windsor and Billy Connolly. Uh, so, and you look at the pictures, Wurzel Gummidge wasn't kept in a good state, has to be said, but they've cleaned the picture up. It looks really, really impressive. So have a look at that. Uh, and they've also uploaded the whole Mr Bean. I loved Mr Bean growing up. I, I used to, uh, every time I used to go to Macro with my mum and dad, I used to buy a Mr Bean video that had two episodes on. Uh, and it seems kind of a bit of a cheat now to watch them all like a click of a button. But yeah, Mr Bean's on there as well. Mr Bean, on New Year's Day, by the way, is 31 years old. There you go. Uh, right, number three. What is the name of the character in Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol who gets visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future. So what is the name of the character in Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol who gets visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future? All right, that's your number three. So remember, we've got 20 and... Um, so uh, do send your scores. And thank you, all you members. Thank you all for playing. I did not think 40-odd weeks on after we started it that we'd still be doing these. But you sent so many nice messages over Christmas. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been brilliant. Uh, it's been good fun. It's kept me going on a Wednesday night as well. That, that little thing to look forward to. It really has. Number four. A foreign city has donated a huge Christmas tree to the people of Britain every year since 1947, which is always displayed in Trafalgar Square. Which city is it? So number four, 
A foreign city has donated a huge Christmas tree to the people of Britain every year since 1947, which is always displayed inside in, in Trafalgar Square. Which city is it? Now, is it A, Munich, B, Stockholm, or C, Oslo? So, Munich, Stockholm, or Oslo? Um, multiple choice in that one. I think Giles Brandreth was there for the unveiling this year. So, it still happened, um, albeit kind of under COVID circumstances, but we still got a tree this year and it was still unveiled. Um, but Munich, Stockholm, or Oslo? That is number four. Number five. How many days are there on a traditional advent calendar? Is it A, 12, B, 24, or C, 31? So how many days uh, are there on a traditional advent calendar? Is it A, 12, B, 24, or C, 31? All right. So we're a quarter of the way through. Um... Number six is easy. Number six is really easy, so I won't mess about. In the song, the twelve day. In the song, the twelve days of Christmas. How many gold rings did the singers? Uh, how many gold rings did the singers give their true love? There you go. So, in the song, the twelve days of Christmas. How many gold rings did the singers give their true love? There you go. How many gold rings? That's easy, isn't it? You'll be all singing it now. So how many how many gold rings basically are in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas? That's number six. Number seven will get you thinking. No cheating in your diary and no Googling either. All right, number seven. There are 365 days in the year. Well, all right, if you're being pedantic, 366 in a leap year, isn't it? But there's, there's 365 days in a year. What number day is Christmas Day? So number seven. There are 365 days in a year. What number day is Christmas Day. All right, no cheating on that one, right? Uh, so, number eight for you now. Why did Father Christmas need Rudolph the reindeer to use his large glowing nose to guide his sleigh? Oh, okay, bit of a cryptic question perhaps. So, why did Father Christmas need Rudolph the reindeer to use his large glowing nose to guide his sleigh. All right, have a think. Talk amongst yourselves if you're playing as a team. What are you putting your answer down as? I want to see if you 20 out of 20s, I do. So, you know that one? So why did Father Christmas need Rudolph the reindeer to use his large glowing nose to guide his sleigh? Number nine, what is the last day of Christmas called? So number nine, what is the last day of Christmas called. And the final one, and then we're going to pause for a quick video. All right. Number 10. Which plant, beginning with P, is associated with Christmas? So, number 10. Which plant, so, uh, beginning with the letter P, is associated with Christmas? Now, there's your first 10. Now, time to show you a video from last week here in Birkenshaw when Santa came down our street. The kids were so excited. Brilliant video. I'll be back with part two of the quiz right after this. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and here he comes down Norwood. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! There he is! And Mickey Mouse! Oh! Hello! Mickey Mouse as well! Hello! Oh, he said, I like you. Hi, he said, Eric. Look at that! Wow, Eric's. Hey, look at that, kids! Look! 
There he is, he's on his way to you. Time now for part two of the quiz. I told you that video was good and it was great of the Birkinshaw Village Association to organise that. Something really special to brighten up Christmas, it really was. Right, question 11. So the second half of the quiz now coming up for you. Uh, number 11. What is Happy Christmas in Spanish? So number 11. What is Happy Christmas in Spanish? All right. Two words. There's a famous song, you might know that one. All right, number 12. What is the name of the ballet traditionally performed around Christmas each year? So number 12, what is the name of the ballet traditionally performed around Christmas each year? All right, I mean, George's room, as you can see, lots of unicorns and frozen pictures <laughs> uh, and lots of drawings as well lots of christmas cards up as well um question 13 stolen is a cake with fruit and marzipan traditionally eaten at christmas and originating from which country so stolen is a cake with fruit and marzipan traditionally eaten at christmas and originating from which country all right, that's number 13. Remember, 20 questions. A reminder, New Year's Eve, 10 o'clock Zoom quiz. Tell your friends and family. Do not miss that one. It's going to be great. Smart address code. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And do I do want to know your scores from today as well. You can email chrisc.benson at hotmail.co.uk. What are you watching on Christmas night? Uh, there's not really that much on, I don't think. I'm curious what Blankety Blank looks like with Bradley Walsh. Uh, I was a fan of the old world doing blankety blank, uh, but uh, Bradley Walsh is good. I imagine he'll be quite good, so uh, that's on tonight. Question 14. Who introduced the Christmas tree to the UK? So, number 14. Who introduced the Christmas tree to the UK? All right, you might know all that one. Okay. Number 15. What is a female turkey called all right so number 15 what is a female turkey called all right uh so number 15 what is a female turkey called right quick video this was from christmas eve this is at oakwell josie and arthur on the swing uh, take a look at this back in just a minute <laughs> let's give you another merry push christmas, everyone. merry christmas merry everyone there you go Right, next five questions. Oh, well, was quite busy yesterday, actually. You can see, you know, people meeting up, swapping presents uh, in the park and stuff. Uh, uh, but, I, yeah, good to stretch the legs. Uh, right, five questions to go. Uh, question 16 coming up for you now. Hope you're enjoying this mini quiz. Uh, stock up your glasses, uh, top up your snacks, and etc. Question 16. Which unusual ingredient did Victorian cooks use in mince pies? So which unusual ingredient did Victorian cooks use in mince pies? That's number 16. Have a think on that one. I love mince pies. Which is your favourite mince pie? Where do you normally get mince pies from? Drop me an email, let me know. I do like, I'm partial to Greg's ones. And we've got some Booth's ones in at the minute of Amazon. Very nice. Uh, question 17. If you're born on Christmas Day, which star sign are you? So, if you're born on Christmas Day, what's your star sign? Uh, I mean, Eric's room in the minute. He's got his football stuff and his, uh, all his football books lined up over there. And his Subutio. I used to love Subutio as a kid. I cheated to get a Subutio as a kid. Because when uh, Roy the Rovers used to be out of the magazine... I submitted a fake football team called, I think it was Astley Rovers or Astley United, and I said I was the manager, and I got a £10 postal order and a free Sabutio set. 1993, I think it was. Oh, I'll tell you what. I conned Roy the Rovers, but we, we got published. Uh, and we have Arthur here with a special Christmas message. Hello, Arthur. Hello. Hello. You're not shy all of a sudden, are you? You're not shy. Do you want to say Merry Christmas to everyone doing the quiz? Merry Christmas. And say Happy New Year as well. No, what are you whispering to me? <laughs> There's Arthur's greetings. You give him a wave. So, number 18. When Santa got stuck up the chimney, his beard was all black, 
his nose was tickling, and what did he have in his sack? So number 18, think you'll know that one, you'll be all singing along. When Santa got stuck up the chimney, his beard was all black, his nose was tickling, and what did he have in his sack? Okay, have a think on that one. Two more to go, two more to go. Number 19. The kids were hooked on this yesterday on YouTube, the Santa tracker, where it shows where, you know, where about Santa is in the world. Um, but because of the number 19, because of the time difference, do Australia celebrate Christmas before or after the UK? So because of the time difference, do Australia celebrate Christmas before or after us? So that's your penultimate question on this Christmas Day quiz. All right. And your final one, number 20. What's the fun name for the sausages wrapped in bacon traditionally eaten with the Christmas dinner? You, you've probably already eaten them today, haven't you? So what's the fun name for the sausages wrapped in bacon traditionally eaten with the Christmas dinner? I'll give you a couple of minutes to check your answers. That was number 20. Answers right after this message from Eric and Josie. Time to go through the answers now. Hope you've enjoyed it. So, pens at the ready. According to the poem The Night Before Christmas, how many reindeer did Santa have to pull on his sleigh? The answer is A, eight. Eight was the answer. What is traditionally hidden inside a Christmas pudding? The answer is a coin. You knew that one, didn't you? You didn't know that. Some though might catch you out, but it was a coin. Uh, number three. What is the name of the character in Charles Dickens' is A Christmas Carol who gets visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future? The answer is Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, I keep meaning to watch the um, Alistair Sim version of Scrooge. I think it's on Talking Pictures on Christmas Day. Uh, never seen it. Never seen it. I think it's got a young George Cole in it as well. Um, number four. A foreign city has donated a huge Christmas tree to the people of Britain every year since 1947. But which city? It's Oslo. Oslo was the answer that we were looking for there. Uh, number five, how many days are there on a traditional advent calendar? The answer is B, 24. Some have 25, but of course a traditional one has 24. Uh, in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas, number six, how many gold rings are there? Well, the answer is five. Five gold rings. And of course, you know the rest. Uh, number seven, there are 365 days in a year. What number day is Christmas Day? Well, it is day 359 uh, of 2020. So day 359 is the right answer. Well done if you got that one right. Uh, number eight. Why did Father Christmas need Rudolph the reindeer to use his large glowing nose to guide his sleigh? Well, the answer was because it was foggy on Christmas Eve. Do you remember the song? Then one foggy Christmas Eve. So uh, number eight, it, because it was foggy on Christmas Eve. Number nine, what is the last day of Christmas called? It is Twelfth Night. Not Christmas Day, not Boxing Day, because I know loads of people will be taking down the trees tomorrow. No, Twelfth Night. Um, Twelve days of Christmas, if we're going off that. So Twelfth Night is what it's called. Everyone everyone will take down the trees uh, probably on Boxing Day because they've been up for weeks. Some have had them up since November. But no, nope, there are 12 days of Christmas, and Christmas Day is the first one. So uh, let's try and get this right. So New Year's Day is the eighth day, isn't it? So... Does that mean the 5th of January? Is that 12th night? Tell me if I'm wrong. I think it is. Uh, and number 10, which plant beginning with P is associated with Christmas? That's a poncetta. Poncetta, that's number 10. Um, right, quick video now. This is me and Eric um, having a go on piano. I, I remember I started lessons uh, on my birthday a couple of days ago, but this is my progress so far. Trying to play Ode to Joy. See what you think. Back with more answers in just a minute. Oh, you're on? Yeah. 
Close Yeah. Yeah? All right. Slow progress, but getting there, getting there, and since then I can do two hands now. So, last ten answers to the quiz. Number 11, what is Happy Christmas in Spanish? It is Feliz Navidad. Number 12, what is the name of the ballet traditionally performed around Christmas each year? That is the Nutcracker. 13, Stollen is a cake uh, with fruit and marzipan, traditionally eaten at Christmas, and originates from Germany. 14. Who introduced the Christmas tree to the UK? That was Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Um, I'm kind. If you've put one of them names, I'll give you the point. So, uh, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert introduced the tree. 15. What is a female turkey called? It's called a hen. Hen, did you know that? Tell me you did. Uh, 16. Which unusual ingredient did Victorian cooks use in using their mince pies? Mince meat. Hence why they're called mince pies. But they did use minced meat. Which is why they get the title, Mince Me. 17, if you were born on Christmas Day, what star sign would you be? You would be a Capricorn. Uh, number 18, when Santa got stuck up the chimney, his beard was all black, his nose was tickling, and what did he have in his sack? He had soot. Soot was the answer. Um, number 19, because of the, the time difference, do Australia celebrate Christmas before or after us? Well, the answer is before. Um, and number 20, what's the fun name for the sausages wrapped in bacon, traditionally eaten with the Christmas dinner? The answer is pigs in blankets. So there you go. 20 questions. All done. Um, mark them out to 20. Email your scores to chrisbenson at hotmail.co.uk. I might just go for a wee dram. You know, it is Christmas Day after all. But may I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Enjoy the rest of the day. Tell me when you've played it, of course. And I'll see you for our next live quiz on New Year's Eve, 10 o'clock. We'd love to have you on board. Make sure you're there for that one. And tell your friends and family if you want to get in touch and play. Uh, it's just £3 for a team if they're not a member already. So if you want to play, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And hopefully something to do on New Year's Eve. Bye. Bye for now.